Alright, what's going on YouTube? Coming back at you with another video. In my last video I said I was going to change my box around and put my subs facing inside the car. Um, I did that a few days ago, but unfortunately the Illinois weather, um, it's been raining, it snowed a little bit today, it's supposed to snow tomorrow. Um, but I went ahead and got it in, box got a little wet today, but it is what it is. So I'm going to give you a quick little walk around. First off, I'm going to show you the settings on my deck if you see the sub settings are at negative 12 don't worry about the highs and stuff like that just because my speakers are trash and that's the only way to get it to sound decent um so yeah so that's that so for anybody that's new that's watching this car has a mechman 240 under the hood with the big three all sky high ofc um in the back i have a teraamp smart ak on two sundown x v 212s they're currently wired to two ohms um, my box is originally it was six cubes after displacement um but since i've changed it up i added a lot more bracing um i had like some wood just some round wood dials they were like three-fourths of an inch wide or whatever uh when i took the box apart it it destroyed those so now i have i think it's it's either five or six two by four braces in there now um that helped out quite a bit uh as far as making the box strong so i'm gonna show you the trunk real quick now mind you this is nothing pretty uh, i'm at the car wash right now because it's raining trying to snow whatever and i didn't want to get wet Ugh. so boom tear amp smart ak dual inputs and right now um, if you watch my last video you would know that my balancer on my yinglong cells took a crap and it took out two of my cells so right now I'm just on the stock battery that was under the hood at one point in time so this will not be a full this basically won't show fully what this system can do but for right now it's gonna get me by I ordered some new uh, some new lithium i'm not gonna tell you what it is right now but that's what it is so terry am smart eight um you can kind of look under there and see those were where the old subs were or where the subs were uh, i just put a piece of wood on the inside screws brad nails and lots of wood glue so my dual sky high fuse holder it's got two 300 amp fuses in there um, but that's basically the trunk Um, I have not played this. I played it a little bit, um, but I didn't go nowhere near full tilt. Um, but there's the two Sundown XV212s facing in the cabin, and I'm really hoping that this helps out a lot. Like I said, I haven't. I played it a little bit, but I didn't turn the base knob up anywhere. It, I turned it up about a, a quarter of the way, and it sounded pretty decent. So you're gonna get my first impressions on what this can do. So I know the box doesn't look good and the carpet doesn't look good because I had to cut it. My system is not pretty, but it's not designed to be pretty. It's designed to get down. So with me not having lithium in the car, you see I'm sitting at 14.8 right now. Um, I will be revving it just to get all that I can out of the alternator. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So, My phone decided to to pause the video real quick um but we back so this window's down this window's down like i said i will be revving it so we'll just go ahead and get into it i bring the rpms up a little bit let's get into it like i said this is gonna be my first impression on full tilt so this is the song we're playing
right, that's what it's doing. Um, like I said, this isn't the best video just because I don't have the, the lithium back there to help push that amp how it's supposed to be. And I can't kind of tell how, how high I'm revving it while it's basing. Um, and this phone does not pick up the flex how how it's actually doing. Like this whole dashboard's moving, the steering wheel's moving. This, <laughs> like I said, this is the first time me like going full tilt on this box. It's only been in a, in a couple hours. And man, just putting the subs facing in has woken this up tremendously. Like I'm so fucking excited right now. Like. It, it hits so much harder on the same power. I didn't change any amp settings. You see my deck was at negative 12 dB. Like, this shit gets down. So, if you like this build, you know what I'm saying, and you want to keep up on it, consider hitting that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on the, the little bell so you get all notifications. Um, once I hit 500 subscribers, uh, I think I'm at like 388 right now. I will be doing a giveaway. Uh, I'm not sure what I'll be giving away. Um, I might ask you guys, you know, what you'd be interested in winning. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, uh, like and comment the video, and whatever it is, it'll be about $100 or something like that. It's not gonna be nothing major, but you know, might be some wire, some RC. I, I don't know what it is, but if you're interested in winning some free car audio, make sure you subscribe to this channel, turn on the bell notifications so you get all my updates, and I promise you I will be back with more videos. Like I said, I got uh, I got some new sales that I'm about to order um, once I figure out my bus bar situation. So just stay tuned, YouTube. I promise you this this build is far from done. Uh, once I get my electrical figured out, then I'll start working on my mids and highs because I, I couldn't hear anything <laughs> with that bass hooked up. So stay tuned, YouTube.